Ah, God, it's so cold out there. That is a nasty looking cloud coming. Hello and welcome. It is a sunny morning. This is part two of my mini little road trip I'm doing. I've been sleeping in Loch Lomond. Um, if you haven't watched my last video and you see all about it there, um, it is the morning after and now I'm heading to a place called Killen, which I've actually been before, um, but to a new camping spot hopefully. So it should be great. I've got my puppy dog next to me she's sitting there sleeping these trips are just about the dog we're just trying to ease her into the camping life get her used to it um, so we can go on some bigger trips but join me welcome it's gonna be a great day the sun is shining let's do it we are here we're, we're here Girl, we here. You want to go for a walk? Nah? Well, you're coming anyway, because I'm the boss man around here, okay? Sister? <laughs> okay. Let's go, Desco. Come on, my good girl. She's not really in a walking mood today. She's very selective with her walking right now but I can't really give her a choice, otherwise she'll think she actually has a choice. Come on, Mila. This is where we are. Oh, sorry, baby. Sorry. We're in a place called Killam in the Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park. Come on, let's go. What on earth did I just see? That was somewhat traumatizing. I think it was like an RAF plane, but it felt so close, it was so close to me. Holy shit. I just seen a big plane coming towards me and I tried to get my phone out as quick as I could. It is very pretty. A lot of rocks. I'm not going to tread all the way down there. I usually would, but I have a small puppy with me. Adventure dog. I actually think it's snowing. There's very small speckles of white coming out the sky right now and I actually think it's snow which is crazy. <sighs> okay, so we're back in the car, obviously. I that that was alright, like the falls of Docker. It was it depends what you're into. I mean it's nice but it's not amazing. It's like I thought it was a little bit underwhelming. Like, I've seen nicer rocks and water before, is what I'm saying. I found a camping spot for tonight and um, it looks good. It looks quite isolated, which is a good and bad thing. And um, it looks quite steep, which is also not an ideal thing just because my car is a bit fragile underneath. But we're gonna we're gonna have a look. We're gonna attempt it. We're gonna go see it right now and see what it's all about. So let's. It's only 18 minutes away from my current location. So if it sucks, if I don't like it, I can move on. So uh, that's the plan right now. Okay, so we are here and the road is quite steep. 
even though my car is like a SUV, it's not a 4x4. Let me just go very slow down these roads. Oh my god. I don't know what to even say about this location. It's stunning, scary, all of the above. Let me show you. Wow. I mean, that's literally my feeling is wow. Look at this, guys. That is a damn, and that is damn beautiful. Wow. And look at this. It's like they knew I was coming. There's fresh firewood there. What? That is very fresh. So somebody's clearly been here very recently. I think I found my spot for the night. Okay, Senorita. Honestly, like I know how many times I've said this now, but this might be like the nicest location I've ever stayed at. Honestly, it's just surreal and so many ways I can't ex I can't describe it really it feels like I'm in a different planet the only thing that worries well not the only thing but one of the things that worries me is if it snows overnight that worries me wow damn <laughs> what a location Oh my god! Mila! <laughs> Hello girl! Hello girl, you're having fun! She's been so good so far on this trip. So impressed by her. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to see that. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. It's starting to snow. Only little spurts of snow, but it worries me. It definitely worries me. Okay, so I just done a little looking on the Met Office website for my exact location and pretty much between now, which is 3pm and like 6, 6.30pm, there is going to be, there was like some, I think either rain or like this bits of snow, but then from like after 6.37pm, there's nothing until like, well, I looked until tomorrow at like 8, 9 a.m. There's nothing at all apart from just cold weather. No snow, essentially. Um, I mean, that's what the Met Office says. Of course, they can be wrong. However, that is reassuring. Um, it was mostly I was worried that it was going to be overnight tonight. Right, can you get back, please? There's high chemical stuff going on right here and it's not for small dogs. It's not for any dogs. Tell you what, when that wind does kick in though, oh my god, it's so, so chilling to the bone. You know that type, I'm sure you do. Like when the wind feels like a sword cutting through you. <gasps> no, the tea got spilled. Oh, no, the blanket's in the water, Mila. Um, <laughs> Now her paw just went on. <laughs> you know your paws in the water, great. We're gonna go for a walk up to that dam. We're gonna try and walk as close to the dam as possible um, before the sun goes down. The thing is, if you can see up there, there's some gnarly clouds rolling upon us. Wow, look at this. That is crazy, bro. So this literally is power in Perth, Perthshire. That's so cool. You can see, runs all the way down here. Cool. 
Wow! Wow! That's so cool! There's my car all the way here! How amazing! Does this place look? Wow! Woo! Woo! -hoo! Sorry, I'm not speaking much. I'm just like in awe of how beautiful this all looks. Look, the cloud is just rolling in. That's so cool. It's also, I don't know if the wind stopped or it's just not hitting here, but there's no wind. It's great. It's not even that cold now. This is kind of why I think sometimes I would like to, I don't love tent camping. It's not never really been my thing, but I would like to have the option because, I mean, imagine having a tent right now. You could literally just cross this bridge and like pitch up across here. How amazing would that be? Right, gonna make my way back to the car and kind of get prepared for tonight. Just get everything settled for, you know, Sleeping, and cooking and stuff like that. And the snow is starting to start again. The snow is starting to start. The snow is starting. Now I'm going to be honest. If you've seen me make one fire before on this channel, that is literally the only like wildfire I've ever done, ever. I mean, I'm not even been saying that. Literally I've done one before. So I have some kindling. Ta-da! Look what you can do with some fire lighters and some kindlewood bought from a store. You can make a fire and a lighter. <laughs> Beer girls would be so impressed. <laughs> this is sick. Ah, every time I forget a bottle opener, with this rack. Yes. Cheers to all you guys who watch my videos. Thank you. Mila is in the car because she should be resting and I don't think open fire and puppy mix well. I think I made the right decision in making the fire now because I think it's like 5.30 p.m. and it is utterly freezing cold. Mila has decided to join me but she's only allowed on my lap because I don't trust her around the fire. I'm not going to use all that wood, I'm going to just leave it at that. Probably stay out another 10 minutes and I'm going to head back to the car. Blast the heaters on for a good 10 minutes to get some heat in my body and then I'm going to start sort of prepping the car for tonight and then cook dinner and then get cosy inside. Right. We are going to make tonight, on tonight's menu, is a tortellini with some tomato sauce. Just some like plant based chicken again. Little bit of oil, just a drizzle. Give it some seasoning. That's pepper, but going in by the way. Some pepper, some sea salt, 
you know, we are all about that garlic life. That's just some garlic granules. And then we're going to add some smoked paprika to this one as well. And just give it a little bit of a stir just to coat that. I'm just going to throw that on here, maybe turn the heat up a tiny bit. <laughs> what is it? Do you want to come over here to join the party? Come on then. Oh. What's going on? Are you feeling lonely back there? You can't get involved though. Because you're only a wee dog. You're only a wee doggo. Hmm? Okay, so... We're going to put this in here. Ideally this would be like a pot or something, but hey hey, just got to make do with it. I mean everything's cooked now, I've just got to mix it together and this stuff seems like far too much food. Cool. So that is that now cooked. Voila. I'm going to just let it do its thing for a second or so. Let's see if it tastes good or shit. Mmm, this is good. Get more water. Yeah. Okay, so I'm still eating my food, but I'm going to pause because it's getting dark really quickly. And while I have a little bit of daylight left, I want to get um, my sleeping situation set up for tonight. So I'm going to do that now, pretty much. So Mrs. Mrs. Milamu, you can just go to the front seat just for a second, Bubba. No, Mila. No, that's hot. You <laughs> little oh, shit. <laughs> She's so small. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. It's so cold, Mila. It's so cold, Mila. Mila, it's so cold. It's too cold. It's too cold for me, Mila. Oh my god. I'm gonna run the car engine just to get some heat in my soul. Ah, it is honestly going to be such a cold night. I can just tell. Ay, ay, ay. A night like tonight calls for emergencies. The tea warmers are coming out. I'm all camped out in all honesty. It's been so busy. But yeah, I'm going to go to sleep right now. Um, again, as usual, unless something crazy happens in the night. I really hope it doesn't because I can't be bothered dealing with it. So, fingers crossed, I will see you in the morning. Good night. It's one in the morning, and look at this. That is how cold it is in here. It is pure ice on my windows. This baby has been tucked into bed with me all night because it's so cold. I think I'm going to have to run the car engine tonight. Well, for like half an hour just to try and get some heat in this car because it's honestly that cold. Please, please start. I'm going to try and get a few more hours of sleep before waking up and having some coffee. But yeah, I will see you in a few hours. Wow, oh my god, how beautiful is that? That is just stunning. How lucky have I been with these?
views. I did start a little fire just for the ambiance. I mean, look. Excuse you, Mila. Mila, you are go. Look at the ember. Come here. Cheers. Oh shit. <laughs> Mila, come on. Let's see how come on then. How are you gonna do it? You gonna jump? Look here. If you come here, come here, look. You're fine. Good ghetto. Oh, she's a good baby. Oh, she's so good. Well, I think that about does it for the morning coffee. I think we're going to hit the road now. I've not had a shower in two days. I can't remember the last time I had a natural bit of heat. And I am freezing cold. So, I think that's a recipe for let's get moving. I think Mila's also ready to go back home. Get some normality back in her life. Until next week when we go travelling again. <laughs> Okay, so we are ready to go. This is going to be fun. Okay, let's go into first gear. Oh my god, I cannot see anything. Oh, that big rock will rip the shit out of my thing. Absolutely done it with ease. Right. Oh. Okay, cool kids. I think this is a this is a good time to end this video and this little trip that we've just had. I hope this place has just blew my mind. I mean, yesterday I had a great place, but today, or sorry, you know what I mean. The, the second location has just absolutely stunned me. It honestly has, I think, been the best spot I've ever been in. And because I had it to myself, it was just idyllic. Anyway, I've got a puppy to get home and get bath. And I need to get bath myself because I probably stink as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this journey. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be long until I'm on the next one again. So until then, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Goodbye. <laughs>